Hey guys, I'm Carly Kloss, and I just created my own website with Wix. You can do it yourself, and it looks stunning. Hello everyone, welcome to the Lane ASMR podcast episode, like, 20 now. <laughs> um, I'm Rio Force, and this That's is not... Lainey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi. Today we're going to be giving relationship advice because we're totally qualified. Yeah. The most completely. qualified, in fact. I, more I've, than you. I've never heard of anybody more qualified than you and I individually. <laughs> so um, I asked on Twitter for people to send advice or no, for them to send questions for us to give advice. And so uh, we're just going to start reading through these. Is there anything else you want to say in the opener? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I forgot what recording. I was going to say now. I don't know. Uh, what I was going to say was just make sure to listen to us. Mm. Yes. Anyone listening, just listen very intently because we're being serious. This is real business. Yes, here. and heed our advice you know. probably as well because yeah. like – you would be super wise to heed our advice and super unwise to not. So Yeah, if you don't listen to us and things go wrong for you, that's on your own head. Yeah, yeah we, tr so we tried to help. And uh, you probably just didn't listen and that's really rude of you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's read the first one. I wish you would right. start with. Is that for... Um, yeah, we didn't really plan which one was first. Are we going to do all of them? <laughs> we don't have to. All right. Um, I don't know. Do you have one that you want to do first? Uh, no. I'm indifferent to the to the order in which we solve people's problems. Well, so I can hear myself. <laughs> Oof, let me uh, <laughs> flip the speaker around. Maybe that'll help. <clears throat> all right. Well, I um, suppose I could get a headphone here. That would probably help even better. I can't hear myself anymore. Okay, now I have a headphone. All right. Um, so me being the lazy person that I am, I would just say go from the top to the bottom <laughs> of oh all the tweets. <laughs> okay, well, actually, I'm just going to start with one in the middle because I feel like it's the it's, it, okay. we just need to get it out of it's the way. It's a good one. Yeah, for, yeah, it's like a precedent for all the others. Cause, uh... All right. So yeah. Matthew Kimball asks, do girls exist? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was uh, pondering I mean, that one earlier. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to know, but it's possible. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't researched it much. Yeah, Matthew. Um, I, Even though we're experts on most things, uh, this is like this. Okay, the fact that okay, asking if girls exist is not equal to dating advice. We're not really yeah. here to answer those sort of questions. Yeah, and just just um, theoretically, if girls exist, then and you're dating one or something, then that's yeah. where we answer. But what we're talking about, yeah. yeah, Matthew, we can't establish if girls that's, truly that's do too exist deep of a question for not. us. Yeah. Okay, well, now that one's out of the way. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good one to start yeah, off at. I agree. Thank you, Matthew. Mm -hmm. um, somebody, I don't know how to read their name, writes in, how do we know you're qualified to give dating advice to brick filmers? <laughs> so what are your qualifications, Lainey? Um, well, I just am. I was born qualified, and anybody who questions my qualification... They will have problems in life. Wow, that's all I've got to say. Yeah, that's that's a good qualification. I I uh, can't think yeah. of anything more qualified than that. Um, I personally mm -hmm. am qualified just on the basis that I'm an expert, and that's basically it. Yeah, I mean that. I I believe it. Mm. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Ethan T asks, how do your relationship? Is the toaster meant to break if you relationship? Okay. Well, I'm going to address the second, the second one. Is it the toaster thing? Mm -hmm. um, that's really hard to know. Okay, so 
we're not whether you know this is assuming that girls do exist as the thing about the toaster so the co- the toaster is in the kitchen which means it's the woman's job to take care of it but it's a mechanical thing so that means it's the man's job to take care of it so if your toaster breaks if you relationship then that's a test that's a test to see how you work together whoa now that so. is deep yeah i mean i mean yeah I can see all yep, of those so. those uh, things being truths of the universe. Uh, basically, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not a, a great thing for the toaster to break, but it does happen. You know, you got to eat, you got to cook, or she's got to cook. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. and it, just, it just breaks, and it, it's probably always going to happen, and you really can't do anything about it. Maybe that will prevent, I mean, or deter you from getting in a relationship. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, that's just one of those things. So if that happened to you, yeah. you're doing it right, is, is all we have to say. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's that's so true. Super true. Declan Thomas writes in, is it appropriate to propose on a first date? Hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, personally, I would say yeah, because you know what? You, you, you got to, you just, you just got to, Get it? Get, just, just, just. Yeah. Uh, if you yeah. if you're not sure on the first date, then I mean, yeah, are you, are you ever man? going to be sure? <laughs> yeah. So I, I, yeah, I, I concur. It's it, it is appropriate. Yeah, yeah, Declan, go ahead, propose. I know you've already taken your first date. Mm-hmm. You you should have asked us advice before, but um, you know, a second date's okay. It's 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 a little. It's not as meaningful, but yeah, but you could still do it. So I mean, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing yeah, yeah, approval. exactly it. Uh, let's just scroll up here. Matthew Kimball writes again, <laughs> do you personally believe that we, oh. in fact, live in a society? If so, does that affect dating at all? That's a deep question. I don't... Uh, I, I can you take the first whack at that question because okay, well, yeah, this I, is a little bit out of our scope, Matthew, because we're relationship experts, not society experts. However, yeah. I have this, I have dabbled in society studies before, so um, I'm not convinced we live in a society. But you know, that's my subjective opinion based on what I've read and and heard. Um, some would say we do live in a society, but as for dating. Since, since I believe we don't live in a society, I think that it does not affect dating because uh, it's a social construct. You heard it from him. Yeah. yeah. I, I, that's Wow. It's good. We're just, we're just cranking out these answers. Uh, uh, this is going great. I know. You know. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a really long one. I haven't read it yet. Let me read it. I'll just read it out loud. Why not? So Undershadow right. says, Hi, Josh and Jordan. I don't know who those are, but uh, so <laughs> so there's this girl I have known for 20 plus years and have a really big crush on her. I can't imagine spending my life with anyone else. My problem is that she's rejected my invitations to monthly model bills at the Lego store, the ideal date, at least 3,000 times. But she's the only one for me. What can I do to win her heart? Thanks, Shawarma Studios. <sighs> How can you have a crush on her if she rejects your dates to the Lego store? Well, What's wrong that, with you? Does that mean a crush is, has to be mutual for it to be legitimate? Well, I mean, like, how is this? How? I think this person needs to go to therapy. Mm. Yeah. Um, because I think that's something wrong with the person who has a crush. If you have a crush on someone who doesn't want to go to the Lego store, then that is something that's wrong with you, probably mentally. Yeah, I agree. Um, um, if you you just you're you're looking in the wrong places, you're finding the wrong people. Yeah. So seriously, yeah. So uh, my advice is to go to therapy. I'm not a therapist, but um, I, you know, I know that will probably work. Um, but that's the advice you need right now. You don't really need have dating advice right now. Mm-hmm. You need therapy. I mean, we are pretty close to therapists. Like true, but, but uh, we aren't. So. I mean, the therapist will cover more. Of the mental issues. Yeah, problem. they'll talk about your like your mom and your relationship with your mom and how like you hate her or whatever. And uh, yeah, we can't we can't really do that on this podcast. We'll have to make another podcast for that one. 
True. Uh, <laughs> in the future. <laughs> parental issues podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pongal writes in, what, 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 what tips do you have for people just getting started in relational algebra? Do you have a favorite relational database? I don't understand this one, so I'm going to hand it over to Lainey, and she's going to use her expertise um, to answer it completely. All right. Just no. Okay. Yeah, thanks. It's a great answer. I, I think we've solved Pongal's problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that should be good enough answer. I don't know. I could have made it shorter, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Well, it's okay. Uh, we, we're not really running... We're not cramped on time just yet, so, you know, the long answers, they're okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tom Chipmas asks, How do I tell my crush that it is in fact... Wait, what, what am I even reading? I'm not even... <laughs> <laughs> How do I tell my crush that it is in fact... Wait, no, what? <laughs> I'm reading it wrong, too! <laughs> what? Okay, he wrote it per- terribly. I, I, it, I can tell he's flustered yeah. by his just, he's just worried about his. his yeah, he's got butterflies so in his tummy, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think what he meant to say is, how do I tell my crush that it is, in fact, a soda and not my type? Oh, okay. Um, uh, I mean, what's wrong with that? Uh, I mean, I guess that your type yeah, part. 2018. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can be in a relationship with a soda. It's perfectly fine. I mean, I understand that your preferences or whatever, but uh, it, it just I mean, don't discriminate soda, against soda. Yeah, yeah, I mean, come on. It's got feelings, too. Uh-huh. So you should give it a chance. Yeah, yeah, just just try it. You mm. never know. My, my, yeah, uh, a, a beautiful be relationship match. could come from that. It's true. Yeah. I, I look forward and if to the future and if, if anything comes out of it, I we would really love to love for you to write us back and uh just Yeah, just and invite us, us to your wedding. Yeah. yeah, we would love to come. Broadcast yeah. it, yeah. Great yeah, stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Awesome pants films asks hypothetical hypo- Hypothetical situation, even though I'm sure this is not hypothetical. People always just say that to mask their yeah. truth because they're a little embarrassed. Uh, anyway, mm-hmm. so he's uh, he's like, you've been in a relationship for with the opposite gender for a few months now, and you haven't told her that you are a brick foamer. How do you break the news? That's a tough one. Um, um, is she a brick foamer? Because if not, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, wait. Um. <laughs> hmm, I think we just narrowed down our options a lot. Okay, I redact that previous <laughs> statement. That was. That's the ideal. If like... she. I mean, she must like Lego at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Yeah. I mean, if you tell her, she'll probably be thrilled. So yeah, I just mean, do it be... in an exciting, romantic way, and she'll love you. It's, it's a group, a group uh, activity, you know? Like a mm, date maybe you should make a brick film telling yeah. her. Be like, hey, check out this video, and then, yeah. Hey, check it out. I've got it all set up, and we can just animate together. You know, it's, yeah, it's pretty that, good. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. It's great advice. I agree. Mm. We're running out of questions. <laughs> Should I yeah. do squids now? <laughs> sure. Okay, Harrison Allen writes in, how do I even get at a relationship? And once in one, how do I make it last? Or if I realize we're not good together, how do I call it off without hurting feelings? Mm, this is hard. This is... Okay, so first off, I'm, I'm just going to jump right in the first one. Um, mm. Getting in the relationship is is probably the easiest part, but also is still super hard because, honestly, you you have to find, like, a girl. And <laughs> that's... Uh, and we don't even know if those exist. Yeah, like, that's... That's uh, yeah. I'm I'm still confused about that. Um, yeah. Personally, once you once if somehow you find yourself in a relationship, uh, you just uh, keep like throwing Lego at her all the time. Like make her cook it. Yeah. <laughs> like like hey sweetie, here's the Lego. Cook it for me. Lego. And then, yeah. 
And then you can build her something with it because, you know, <laughs> your man build it, yeah. Yeah, so. exactly. You just you use your skills with the Lego and uh it, it's going to it's guaranteed basically to be a long-lasting yeah. perfect relationship. Yeah. And um if you're not good together, I mean, if she likes Lego, you're going to be great together. But if she doesn't sure. and you don't find out till a little later if she lied to you or something, um mm -hmm. who cares about feelings? <laughs> Come on. Think about Lego. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, Lego really takes priority over feelings. Yeah, I mean, come on. She's already, like, the worst person ever for not liking Lego, so why yeah. does it matter? Yeah, you should build um, in, like, you should build in Lego words that, a uh, sentence that says that you're going to break up with her. Yeah. Um, so that's a pretty good way to go about it. It's kind of passive-aggressive, but at the same time, she might change her mind about Lego eventually. Yeah. She might look at it and be like, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I really do like Lego. And then, voila. And then you might not even have to break up because she would be like, I've yeah. realized and I've changed my ways. Yeah. Wow. I I've known several couples who have done that. Mm, yeah. yeah I, heard it was, I heard it's effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Dragon Brick Studios asks, is is lighthearted but low key serious self deprecation an effective coping mechanism after being rejected? I mean everyone everyone has their own coping mechanism. Um I mean yeah, maybe. But at the same time she's just gonna be like dep like just throwing insults your way constantly anyway. So why would you just do it to yourself as well? Somebody you need that is true. you need somebody to to at least like you. So it may as well be yourself, right? That is very true. And you should also make brick films that you know are very um, su supportive of yourself. It's true. It's true. You you can use yeah. the medium to really express your feelings and uh, mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, and maybe again, maybe she'll um, come back. Maybe she'll be like, oh my goodness, yeah. I changed my mind. I mean, the brick filmer is like the, the, the peak of of person. And who would not want to be in a relationship yeah. with a brick filmer, honestly? So, yeah. You never know. Maybe There may be hope after a while. Yep, so very just, true. Just keep trying. I know you've been rejected like 20 times, but you know what? <laughs> that just means you've got 20 brick films on your channel. And hey, that's a good start yeah. to your YouTube career, right? Yep, yep. This this is really good advice. Yeah, See, you don't understand how good this is. You really listen to this carefully because this is really great. This is where where the knowledge is just pouring out. And I know, and if, if it'd be a real shame if you didn't really take this in, just if, soak it in. If you are not accepting this advice, life. then you basically deserve to be rejected. I mean, let's just be yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. Mean, obviously. There's no shame in writing in, but you are at a low point in your life, so you need to pick yourself back up, and that's why we're here. Um, mm -hmm. So just seriously, just listen to us and do what we say. Yeah. There's really no alternative. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we can actually answer Chris's, because I don't have any prepared. I know one. Okay, so Goldberg Production... Right, Sin, give us uh, brick filming pickup lines or I'll unsub from Pongal. Uh, yeah. We only have one so far, unless I think of one on the spot. We might have to take a quick intermission and think up of some. Intermission. <laughs> Isn't that not what I said? No, no, I was just, I was just adding. <laughs> Making fun of my vocabulary? No, no, no. I, know, <laughs> I was just saying it so we can add music or something. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm sorry. Or we could just leave all I'm this blonde. in, and uh, then yeah. it wouldn't be funny anymore. This could be the intermission. This is the intermission, Although, except our brains aren't working, because we're going to have to... Yeah. Um, we'll have to take an intermission from our intermission. Um, okay. But the one that I know... Um, actually, you, Rio, you, you're the one who came up with it. It's not a very good one. Oh, really? I mean, I could come up with better, but it, it, it's just... you. If you're going to say it, you got to like go really close to however the person can hear you. Like if you're talking over a phone, get really close to the mic like this or just, you know, get close to the ear. That could work too. And say, hey, girl, what's your YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Wow. It's not a good one, as I yeah. said, but I mean, it, Rio came up with it, so. Mm. I, I don't remember that, right? but I'm sure you did. I did. Uh, you did. <laughs> wow. Um, so yeah, that's just one, and um, maybe we'll have to get back to you about the four others. Um, I know we'll be able to think of some better ones. Maybe in like 10 years. <laughs> yeah give us 10 years don't uh, don't unsubscribe for 10 years at least please yeah 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 just uh, give us that little i mean time. honestly if you can't <laughs> sometimes sometimes these podcasts they just need a little these questions are are hard we are experts but we need some some time to dwell on the the right answer because we we don't really want to give off bad advice because it might ruin your life yeah you know it's, it's very true we and have if to we give really you careful. the wrong pickup line i know you need five of them because you got five girlfriends that you want to you know, you or potential yeah. girlfriends, I guess. But uh, so just try that one uh, and see if it works. Just try it on like the 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 one the girlfriend that you least like, I guess. Just just in yeah, case. Yeah, test round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do want to say, if you can't think of a a pickup line yourself, you are not worthy of being subscribed to Pongo. Mm, yeah. So it's true. I just want to say that um, we're being very gracious in giving you actually just one. Um, I'm, I mean, if we had others, we'd probably give it to you just because we're so nice. But I mean, the truth of it is you, yeah, it's kind of a disgrace. Only the intellectuals so. can sub to Bong Al. And besides, if you yeah. really, truly play with Lego for hours a day, then you should have plenty of pickup lines. I mean, come on, you're picking up Lego off the floor and stuff yeah. all the time. You should be like, ah, there's a good pickup line. I'll use that one day. Uh, you mm -hmm. should have been thinking of these since you were like four. Okay, let's just be real. Yeah. So um, just keep. It, so it's a little bit on your own head. But yeah. Play with definitely. play with more Lego and uh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good advice. Mm -hmm. Play with I more agree. Lego. So good luck with your five girlfriends. Uh, just uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's that's all the questions. I think that is all the questions. That is okay. Um. Thank you for writing in to our grand podcast where we've given you great yeah. relationship advice um, and really changed your lives today. Yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot is, is good. A lot of good is happening in the world right now I, because yeah, of us. Exactly. All yeah. these people are, are, are really pursuing their relationships and uh, are, are becoming successful in that area of their lives. However, um, one word of warning or note rather at which we should put at the end of every episode, um, which we always have and always will. Um, if you're in a relationship and it starts taking away from your brick filming time, get out of the relationship. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Brick filming always takes uh, priority, priority over any relationship. So Yeah, that's the truest words that I've ever heard actually. It's true. I mean, I'm a brick filmer. I'm I'm not in a relationship, but I am an expert because you know what? I gave up all my relationships for brick filming and also giving out your relationship advice. It's just Yeah. It's something you have to do. Become a peak mm -hmm. human. So It's true. It's very true. Yes. So just balance it off. And uh mm -hmm. any any last remaining ending outro words, Lainey? I mean, I think you said it all. I can't. I mean, I mean, what you were gonna say is what I was gonna say. So, you you already said it. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, yeah. Don't ever come back because we're not gonna make another episode. Um, okay. Yeah. Unless we get really, really good questions. It's so. true. Yeah. If you send more questions our way, we might. But I yeah. doubt it. Also, if there's any money, then we might. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, we have a, a PayPal. Go to our PayPal <laughs> and Patreon, <laughs> Patreon and YouTube, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, just send us money yeah. in any way you can find. Yeah, it's, it would be greatly appreciated. It's true. Okay, thanks for listening, everybody. Good. Yep. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, one more question. Oh, there's Lainey. another question? Yeah, it's my oh. question. Oh, I see. Are you in a relationship? Uh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs>